I know you will be wondering why his spirit has departed him. He's dead, and he weeps in his spirit, wandering for a short while before the spirit man finally leaves the earth to face his maker. Okay, let me take you back to find out what really happened on the eve of his death. I mean the last day on the physical earth. You see, this is how sometimes many a young people live their lives trying to explore to the latter the fleeting pleasures of this life. Very luring indeed are these pleasures. Boring, boring. Boys, they meet them. Uh. Many Christian brothers and sisters often exchange their communion with God for men's companionship. You are my guy. In Charles's so case, so. he called his friend in the morning <laughs> for a party. Yeah, I do. You know what? I beg you where you did. Chala, you know what? Meet me for the junction, eh? Make we pick some rounds for tonight, eh? Yeah, where you do have the meet now? Yeah, section for the night. I mean, some party level. Okay, okay. Alright. Soon as Charles was on his way to meet his friend, he met a bunch of guys who appeared to be his angel to save his soul. The kingdom of God is at hand. Good name, my brother. I want to share the word of God with you. I'm Pastor Jojo. I'm Chad. Good. I just want to share the word of God with you. Good. You know the kingdom of God is at hand. In the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27, it says, For there is judgment for everyone after death, and it's appointed unto man to die once. So I tell you, my brother, no one knows the day he or she will die. But there is one thing for sure, there is death for everyone. Sometimes we forget about the judgment that comes after death. That makes us live our lives as if there is no creator. So just now, if you surrender your life to God, then I can assure you, you also can stand a chance in the kingdom of God. All you have to do is accept Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Excuse me, sure, go ahead. Charles received another call from his girlfriend and decided to abandon the original call for the party and leave the preacher in the middle of his message. All right, take care. Pastor, I'm sorry. I have to go. My girlfriend is waiting for me at home. We will talk later. Uh, but wait, before you go, you have to accept Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Then you can go. Later. I will. Later. See you. But you need Christ in your life. He's See you. The kingdom of God is at hand. And we need to repent of our sins. The Lord is coming very soon. So you see, what happened after their intercourse? They left for the party, 
to excite themselves the more. Unfortunately for Charles, the party was the last fleeting pleasure on earth. They partied, they drank, they danced their hearts out and had a good moment of their lives. But such pleasures are just momentary and the evil one capitalizes on it to affect our lives and sever us from God's loving relationship. This is what happened to Charles the day before his departure. If Charles had known, he would have accepted Christ as his personal savior, as he was admonished by the preacher. But you see, the adage, had I known, is always at last. Now the question for us to ponder is where does Charles' soul go away from here after this physical life has been terminated on earth? Remember the Holy Scripture says, it is appointed unto man to die once and after his death judgment, Hebrews 9.27. No one knows the hour of his death, as was referenced by Jesus, that if the owner of the house knew the time and hour the thief would come, he would be awake to prevent the thief from breaking into his house. So you ought to live your life as if it ends today. Love God, love your brother, do right to all manner of persons, read the scripture, pray to God, and do what the scripture says. If you are not born again, the book of John shows us how God loved the world and sent his only son to bring salvation unto mankind. You are a beneficiary. Take hold of it and note that salvation is given to us by him, Jesus alone.